We're back to give you the legal edge. Many people rely on online reviews before going to restaurants, hotels, and other businesses. And businesses rely on positive online reviews to attract new customers. But the negative ones can seriously damage a reputation. And as attorney Brian Waldman from the Sign and Stramus Law Firm explains, some businesses are fighting back against those negative comments by filing lawsuits. And the complaints of businesses are, are that these reviews aren't always accurate. They're not always honest. Restaurants commonly complain that hey, we, we fire someone and the next day they post a negative review about the business as if they were a customer or a competitor of a business posts a negative review. These are essentially libel claims. They're claims that is, state that the reviews are, are defamatory and they cause harm to the business. They often are done in a way where the reviewer doesn't reveal their identity. They make up a fake name or they have some type of, of alias or anonymous name. A lot of times these lawsuits are filed simply to try and find out who's leaving a negative review, particularly if they think it's untruthful. Are the suits successful? They rarely are. They can be successful, but these are difficult lawsuits. And the reason is that to prove a defamation or a libel claim, you have to show that the statement is untrue and, and untrue based on facts. Everyone has the right to express an opinion. So if they, they give a, an, an opinion or a star rating, oftentimes you know, that's a complete defense. But aren't reviews just that, opinions about whether a service is good, food is tasty, hotel is clean? Exactly, and in fact, in Michigan, we recently had a case where a lawyer or a law firm said, we got a one-star Google review from anonymous people. We wanna know who they are because we suspect they are, are one-star reviews from competitors. And the courts, and the Michigan Court of Appeals said, no, a one-star review without any words is nothing other than an opinion. It cannot be a, a, you know, based on any facts that are untrue, it is an opinion. One of the judges on the panel said, well, wait a minute, Google's own policies say that the, the star ratings and reviews have to be based on actual experiences. And this lawyer ought to at least be able to try and figure out who it is that left the review to determine if it was based on an experience. And if so, fine. It's a difficult case to prove because a star is, is an opinion. The Michigan Supreme Court is deciding whether it will hear that case. So we could get more clarity in Michigan as to whether or not these types of reviews can lead to liable claims and if the businesses can find out exactly who leaves some negative reviews.